Excellent timing. We've just finished our work on the Enterprise. She's so much improved, I've decided to give her a new name to suit. Oh? A new name? The Enterprise Excelsior. Or simply the Excelsior, if pressed for time. Because now she rams. Okay. Once again, she'll carry Eorzea's protectors into battle. All aboard! I can do no more than see you off with prayers for your safety and success. Thank you. Yet know that wheresoever you may go, my son's spirit goes with you. <sighs> may the fury grant you strength. Music's very hype. Return to us, all of you. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, show us what you got, Sid. Excelsior. Engage. Here we go. <gasps> Bye, Hilda. Wait, everyone? Oh, I don't like this. We're being separated from everyone. Will I ever see them again, I wonder? Here we go, it's time! Okay, I'm ready. It's I time. My enemy, render unto me thy power. Let's go. Okay, charge the ram. Yes? <laughs> okay, that's quite a ram. No, you will not claim me. I am the master. Are we gonna do it? Is it working? The ram is very ready. <laughs> we did it. We're all fine. Yes. What was that face? Uh oh. <gasps> oh. Well, this could be a problem. Well, good thing we have the super powerful Chief, ram. We've got an Imperial battleship on our tail, and it's bleeding massive. Yes. Uh oh! No! No! Damn it! The bastards were waiting for us to open the door for them. 
Uh, oh no! I'm gonna try to shake them. Hang on to something. We're all going to die! Tataru! Okay, that's adorable that he screams for Tataru. She won't take much more of this! Do we have parachutes? The time is come to use Heidlin's gift. Where are you right now? Much blood has been spilled in my name. And for what? For a false cause that I created for want of the warmth of companionship. Saint Shiva, pray Svelga. Pray forgive this fool. Uh-oh. Oh no. But even now, I cannot let go of my dream. My dream of a tomorrow in which no child need freeze alone in the snow. Oh no. Oh no. Is that Azel? What does she mean to do? I don't know yet, but something major. Oh, goddess, born of mine own hopes and dreams. For the last time, I beseech you. Oh, no, wait, no, the, for the last time. Vessel with your light. Still the hatred within our hearts and bless us with eternal grace. Yeah, she's awesome. She's so good. So nervous. She's not gonna survive a sheep. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we just needed her to ram.
Farewell, warrior of light. And thank you for showing me the way. No! No! Wow. This ether, it was a crystal of light. Oh, wow. She, too, was one of Heidelin's chosen. Fare you well. Over here. Oh, that was too sad. How's everyone doing? Great to see you guys. Yay! So there are two again. That she might regain the blessing of light I had foreseen. Mm -hmm. But she has grown so strong in it as to deny us our power. Let us withdraw, Lahabrea. That power remains to us, at least. What is that? <gasps> gotcha? And what about the other one? Oh, we're gonna throw the eye at you. Get in my eyeball. <gasps> How did that happen? So, you harness the eye's power. A pity you spent it all. What will you do now, hero? Well... So, hold on. So, not even the vaunted warrior of light can unmake an Atsian without relying upon mortal contrivances. Okay, how did you get here? And what are you carrying? You. In the distant past, King Thorden and his knights twelve fought and defeated Nidhogg. Okay. Though the victory cost them dear, they were rewarded with a great prize. The Dread Worm's Eyes. Both of which have since been held in the Holy See's safekeeping. The phrase Dread, dread Worm's Eye, all I can think is 
<laughs> the dead man's toe in Hocus Pocus. I can't unhear it though. The eye you possess was Nidhogg's left, and long has it served as the source of the Azure Dragoon's might. As for its twin, Oh. Okay. Uh oh. Oh dear. It has lain here, joined to the person of Haldreth, the first Azure Dragoon. For though he learned to harness its power, he was ultimately consumed by it. Even in death, his body decays not. Oh, well, good. A pitiful end for a fabled hero. My Asian friend, long have you and your kind sown the seeds of chaos by teaching mortals the secrets of summoning. But if you assumed that we would meekly serve as your pawn, then you are gravely mistaken. You would raise a hand against us. Yeah, try not to I'm mention what's about to happen. Flesh, the soul <laughs> of the legendary King Thorden. I am become a god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my. Well. So is he just, okay, so when the eyeball leaves, oh, okay, no, he just disappears. Guess that's fine. Oh, well, he became sword? A god who knows not cessation, whose being is sustained by a millennium of fervent prayer. And the eyes nigh bottomless reservoir of ether. Wow! <laughs> Look at this guy. What? Your contempt for man has proven your undoing, Asian. For my first act as God King, I do hereby sentence you. Die. Yeah, it's super windy in here. He must think he's in The Witcher 3. Oh my gosh, though. Whew. That's one way to do it. All right, well, we'll see you later. It's really nice chatting. Gods feed upon ether. It matters not what form that ether takes. Asian souls are no exception. With this power, I shall put an end to a thousand years of conflict. Be they sown by Asian? Dragon or Prime, wheresoever the seeds of chaos threaten to quicken, I shall excise them with my divine blade and bring order to the world. Take issue with my godhood. I shall answer you with my blade. His movements also like <laughs> he's just huge. Oh, bye. Oh, bye. 
Oh. So that would be the trial I'm about to do. Did we do it? Nice. Oh, okay. How? How can this be? A millennium of prayer and the eye's power combined? And still you stand? Okay, so you survived. And this isn't even voiced. Mine would be oh. the hand to end it. It is. But knowing you, there was little chance of that. Thank you for the eye. The eye has served you well. So are we going to take the sword now? Oh no, we just want the eye. It's twin. At long last. Okay. What do you do when you have two eyeballs in your hands? All that remains is to take them beyond the reach of man and dragon both. With this task accomplished, my toil shall finally be at an end. Okay. Oh! Ooh. Oh no. Thou hadst done well to resist mine influence, bathed in my power and blood as thou wert. Alas, in thine anticipation of comfort, thou hast lowered thy guard. Okay. Uh, maybe I spoke too soon, saying he was going to survive. The keening of my fallen kindred, their smoldering desire for vengeance. Mine eyes have partaken of a thousand years of pain, a pain which I shall bestow upon thee. Drink deep of my rage, mortal, and become me? <gasps> no. Wait, wait. Ah! Yes! Oh, that's awesome! That's so cool! Ah! Oh, bye. Could you give me a ride, though? He can still talk, right?
cool. He's your favorite character. I mean, he's still in there. He's just a dragon now. <laughs> Gonna follow him? Wait, I'm riding a dragon side saddle? <laughs> I guess God that damn makes it. sense. You always have to cut it so bloody close. Do the guys write it that way too? Also the music. Oh. Okay, so is Estinian dead or just dragon? It would seem she has done it again. Was what about all of her other friends? Like there's been no Menphilia at all. Our triumphant return! Oh, we're back! Oh! I dare say you are the First soul in Ishgardian history to arrive in our city upon Dragonback. Well, this scene shall be remembered for a thousand years to come. Also, it's a pretty cool setting in the background. Tell me, children of Thordon, do you desire peace? Here's the music. Oh. My people have committed unspeakable atrocities against dragonkind, even against our own. Would that we could undo these wrongs, but we cannot. I like how Tataru is just like, I don't need to kneel. I'm good. <laughs> Be that as it may. Job done. The future yet presents a chance to begin anew. Our nation has broken free of the shackles of a false faith, and Nidhogg shall lead his kindred against us no more. Yet be warned, Nidhogg's soul liveth on. Oh man, this is His very exciting! rage hath claimed for its vessel the one thou callest the Azure Dragoon. Okay, also, I know I'm not supposed to be excited about this, but it's really cool! <laughs> and we're gonna be fine, we're the Warrior of Light, we got this. Astinian. Doubt not, but that Nidhogg will call out to his brood ere long, nor that they shall answer him. <gasps> oh, it's the credits! We did it! We did it! So Lahabrea and Igayon have fallen. Yes. Bested by mortals in their attempt to initiate the Eighth Rejoining. And now it falls to me to deal with the consequences. Yeah, is it on the moon? It's somewhere special. <laughs> the time has come for you and yours to join the fray. Why do you not want me to see your face? Warrior of Darkness. Warrior of Darkness? <gasps> oh! Ah. Okay, that's kind of cool. Maybe run away from it. Wait. Ah, 
Of all the things they could have picked to play with, that's not a toy, you bloody fools, it's a primal! Okay. Another primal? at me. Who else could be? Thancred. It could be Thancred. Is it Thancred? Hurry. <gasps> oh! Is this like if wait, I'm really confused. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it looks like the like stand-in for us in the trailers. So you are the warrior of light. The savior of Eorzea. And you are? Oh, you got tricks? Well, so does Yashtola. How dare you! Aww. Why are we fight- wait, why are we fighting? I thought we were just cool with them. He's back. Oh! Alright, so you've got an outfit change then, too. Not very sporting of you to interrupt, but so be it. I am so confused. Mark well our faces, warrior of light. For <gasps> we are the warriors of darkness. Walkers what? of a different path. What? And we shall. If nothing else, you might have warned me that I would oh. emerge from the live stream in the altogether. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> what a picture. <laughs> this is perfection. What am I looking at? Oh, so adorable. <laughs> You're waiting for this. It's so Hilarious. What were they thinking? What were they thinking? Nakey thanky. <laughs> oh no, don't leave. Eventually, I managed to fashion knives from some obsidian I found and set about hunting for meat and hides. It's still there! <laughs> oh my gosh, this chipmunk is in every single shot! <laughs> Die. 
crying. Oh my goodness. Given that I'm not all that skilled in leatherworking, it's probably for the best that I met the Vath before I was reunited with you. It is a nutkin. <laughs> Oh, they needed they needed to do one more. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well. Oh no. Oh no. Remember your training. We hold fast until the Lord Commander returns. Ugh. We must hold. This is going great. By the fury. That one is the size of Nidhogg. Okay. And this is huge. Look at me just strutting the other way. I have chills. <laughs> Wherefore standest thou with these vermin, brother? Seal Abandon this war, Shade. The suffering thou sowest serveth no end. The traitor's progeny have learned of their forefather's betrayal, and seek now to make amends with our kind. Never shall our grief be assuaged, nor our loss forgotten. But reconciliation may yet halt the spread of this plague of enmity. Forsake thy vengeance and be at peace. Insert AMV music. <laughs> More Lincoln Park. What soft-headed ramblings are these? Thy dalliance with that vile maid hath robbed thee of, my, of thy wits. Mayhap her cloying perfume hath made thee forget the stench of our brood sister's lifeblood. Oh, Rob, I meant to say goodbye to you, because I saw you 
we're leaving, but you're still here, so goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thou darest speak thus of my beloved. Ah, so the flames of rage may yet be kind kindled. I fear thy heart's fire had long since gone out. But waste not thy fury on words, brother. Thou shalt have need of it for the battle. Oh boy, okay. Oh no. Are they gonna fight with buildings? Okay. Well, we're in the final boss of Kingdom Hearts now. Oh no! Wait. Okay. I didn't see where it landed. Ah! <gasps> Thought they were gonna get Fabrizioed. Okay, okay. <sighs> oh gosh, I'm very nervous about this. Okay, maybe get off the bridge, Fang. <laughs> maybe get off the bridge. Dear. Oh no! <gasps> oh. Gah. Thou art weak, race Velgar, a slithering worm who fawneth on the vermin, who should rightly be his prey. For a thousand years I have fought without cease, and thou didst think to prevail against me. Glory, ugh, not in thy victory shade. The battle is not yet won, my power and my hope. Have I entrusted to another? Thine eye, what hast thou done? How long has that been gone? I 
I get tethers now. <gasps> Fool, thou wouldst trust a mortal with thy strength? Do you even know who you're dealing with? <gasps> it's the real one. I know thee! <laughs> Twas thou who didst intrude upon my lair, and best the half of me. But now I am whole, and not in creation shall deny me my vengeance. Do I get new powers? <gasps> it's still playing? <laughs> this part is 11 out of 10. I'm excited. Uh, what do I do? There it is. All right, let's see. Astinian. <gasps> it's still creepy. <laughs> hey, is this to be my end? Kinda. Hey, I will not allow it. I am of the first brood. I am Vengeance incarnate! I am Nidhogg! Thou shalt die by my hand! Ah! Uh, what? This is not your hand, worm! <gasps> Estinian! <gasps> oh! Oh! Thou wilt obey! I would ask one last favor of you, warrior of light. Finish me, now, while I have the beast subdued! No, I don't want to. But there's a forky moogle noise when we nod. <laughs> About to murder this person. Bonk. You waste your time. Kill me! It is the only way. Ending Nidhogg will be my final duty. Ah. Uh. No! You can't die like this! I won't let you! Oh? What? <gasps> ah! 
Thank you for the follow, Robert. <sighs> we seem to have a lot of these now. Azur, thank you for the follow. The eyes! Cast them into the abyss! I'm sorry, what? Abyss? Ah, okay. Alright. So... Okay. I feel like... That's not really getting rid of them. These dragon eyes are gonna come back later. Dragons can fly. He lives. Oh, Finally, so someone's alive. Lucia, summon the healers. I want them ready to receive him. Drop! <laughs> At once, Lord Commander. Allow me to do this much, at least. Kiss him. Sorry. <laughs> the Horde have sensed the fall of their master and scattered to the winds. You have my gratitude, Resvelga. Your deeds this day have saved a great many lives. Oh, this is so good. And our alliance hath served its purpose. Thou didst wield the power I granted thee well. It was thine own skill, and not mine eye which earned thee victory. Wait, I still have your eye, right? We can just give it back. What about your wing? You seem fine. I wish thy companion a swift recovery. Fare you well, children of man. Aww. Estinian. See? The battle is won. I knew we'd save him. We can do no more for Estinian now than bear him home and wish him well. Even as Reisvelga did. The rest we must trust to the hands of the healers and the grace of the gods. We did it! What do we do? This is a massacre! Aww, Ida. <laughs> oh. How wonderful to see you, Commander. You got a dumb face. Ill bird. I should have known. This has to end. It has to end now. Do you not see your countrymen dying? Have your ideals rendered you blind even to that? Order the retreat. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Retreat. With the moment of my triumph so close at hand. Look at him, though. You truly are a sheltered child, Leather Year. Oh, no. Nidhogg's eyes. No abyss is too deep for you, I see. See? But trust me when I say that such power was not meant for mortal hands. 
You say no mortal should wield these eyes. Then I shall gladly become a demon. I will suckle on the souls of the hopeless and liberate the homeland they no longer deserve. This makes me very nervous. What exactly do you mean to do? Did you hear their cries as victory was snatched away from them? Even with their dying breaths, they cursed the Empire. Never has their desire for vengeance been so raw, so true. A god has no need of faith when summoned by so pure a purpose. Summoned? You cannot mean to fight the Empire with a primal. You know full well the danger, the futility of relying on such power. Oh yes, I know their limitations. Which is why I will call upon a deity more terrible than the very black worm of the Calamity itself. What? Here, now. But my party left. Like hell, you will. Not fat chocobo. <laughs> An ending to mark a new beginning. My pain, my longing, you shall have it all! I don't want it. Ah, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> no! <laughs> really? But... Creepy. Oh no. What is going into this? Okay, do we have just one great eye this now? Light. Is it... His death completed the ritual. The primal is taking shape. Uh-oh. Well, can't we stop it? There must be something we can do! There is one thing. Where do you think you're going? Master Louis Soir briefly contained Bahamut by means of a potent spell of sealing. I will now attempt to do the same. B but that's impossible! We would need hours to collect the necessary ether, if not days! Ah, uh, Alfino, though I concede it may not always be apparent, I was ever your grandsire's finest pupil. Tumtumati, of course! The staff still holds enormous power, broken or not. Don't you dare, Pavalimo! I know how that spell works. Oh no. I don't know how it works, but... Not sound good. Oh no. It is time to leave! Yes. Quite right! Quickly now, off you go! The further away, the better! No! If you're staying, then so am I! No, Ida! There is a path only you can walk, and it must not end here, not like this! Take her! Please, you have to take her!
This is one battle you cannot fight. Away with you. Go! <gasps> wait, the, wait, can I actually choose the wrong answer here? I don't know. Is it, does it actually make a difference if I try to stay? I guess it depends on how you see your character. Because also it says a lot to trust in what he's telling you to do. And to allow him to make his own decision. But I will stay at his side. <laughs> I think he means no. Uh, it really made no difference. No. I bid thee farewell again, my dear Eda. Now. Let us see how good a student I truly was. He's smiling. So it worked? That's it? Need to explain. Why? Why didn't they let me stay? Papaliamo is my friend. I should have been there with him. He can't really be gone. You could see it in his eyes, Ida. He knew what he was doing. What had to be done. Master Louis Soi wore that same look right before the end. Do you think I don't know that? I know, all right, I know. There's nothing more you could have done. Ilbert caught us all off guard. Even Fang was powerless to stop him. You must blame someone, then blame me. Just promise me. Promise that you will never forget what Papalimo strove to protect, or the lessons he tried to teach you. Don't, don't speak to me. Oh. Leave Ida with me. Go on, go back to the Rising Stones. The others need to know what happened here. Oh, the light's gone. It was all we had left of him. Ida. Oh, Ida. I don't blame anyone. I knew what was going to happen. I knew the spell Papalimo meant to cast would drain away his life force. I knew that it would only buy us a little time. <gasps> what <laughs> is that? Ida, there is no need to explain. But yes, there is. <laughs> but there is. 
I can't hide in Papalimo's little shadow anymore, and I shouldn't hide behind my sister's mask. She looks different ago, than I expected. On the day the Empire marched into Alamigo, I was still just a child, not even five summers old. Wow, the ending of Heaven's Ward is an Ida face reveal? My father had been one of the leaders of the revolution. He had fought to overthrow the mad king, Theodoric. And my sister had fought alongside him. But she was strong and kind. And always knew what to do. But when the Garleans came, everything changed. My father went to war against them too. And I never saw him again. After that, I remember a lot of running. My sister dragged me for moms and moms until we came to the city of Charlian. That was where she met Master Louis Soir. He introduced her to the Circuit of Knowing, and she eventually became an Archon. She was your inspiration. Is that not why you took up her mask and her name? Or did you simply mean to continue what she had started? You've known all along, haven't you? That I wasn't Ida. Of course. We all recognized you at once. It was Papalimo who persuaded us to maintain the charade. I of course have to compare this to something, but I can't because I don't want to spoil anybody in chat. It was silly to think I could fool you. I knew that even then, but I... I sort of... decided not to know. Ida died six years ago on a mission to smuggle refugees out of Alamigo. They say she was overwhelmed by Imperial soldiers when she stayed behind to save a little girl. She was so strong. There must have been a lot of them. Thank you very much for the follow, Master of Disguide. Ah. Uh... I'm sorry for lying to you. My real name is Lise. Say what? I've heard that name before. Like, not in the game. Outside of the game. When Papalimo brought me Ida's mask, it was meant as a keepsake, but... I decided I wanted to be his new partner. To keep alive all the good that she had done. I didn't want to become Ida, exactly. At the time, though, I still didn't know who I was myself. And it this was is nuts! This is... To play the role. <sighs> Her hair even is in a really cute ponytail that probably looks worse when it's down. Papalimo agreed to help, of course, but it was never what he wanted for me. He wanted me to walk my own path, and those were his final words to me. The Archon's mark he gave me is faded, and my last excuse along with it. How can I not... how... So this is it. Whatever I choose to do from now on, I do as Lise. And I choose Lise. to continue my family's fight. I want Alamigo to be the country that Ida and my father always wanted it to be. At the far edge of fate, the road begins anew. The heroes look to eastern skies and hold their crimson hue. A dawn of liberation, a gathering storm of blood. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, that would be it. 
thank you guys so much for being here. Just had a fantastic time. Such a, ugh, such a good ending. 